Okay, we are here in The Hague at the Water Couch and I'm yes. talking with Eli Aguko of the Kirab Bank in Kenya. In Kenya, yes. Eli, can you explain once again, as you did so clearly to me earlier, what is your product and why is it so unique? Uh, the uniqueness of the program that we are uh, implementing in Kenya is to leverage private sector financing into the water sector. Uh, for a long time, the water sector is likely being financed through the grant, but we are now given opportunities for communities, especially rural communities, to walk into commercial banks, borrow, invest in uh, their water supplies for their members, and uh, allow the members to use that water and pay for it. Uh, the arrangement is that the community are supported to put up functional structures, governance structures, and the governance structures comes to the bank and borrow from the bank to establish a water system. The water system has got members, registered members, and those members now walk into the main uh, the, uh, the community organizations, register and become individual members who are borrowed under microfinance arrangement for household connections. Uh, over the last uh, two and a half years, we have invested about 3.3 million euros in credit finance to about 35 community water projects, reaching about 28,000 households. Uh, these 28,000 households are benefiting about 164,000 communities. But our major focus as a commercial bank is that we do not want to end at the water, just delivering water. We want to generate small and medium enterprises through the water as the using water as the entry point and at the community level also level we need to create a microfinance product where the individuals can now link to the bank once they get water to come and borrow and invest in economical activities basically giving them the capacity to pay for the water which they are receiving and enable them to expand on their on their investment and on their income level so you, you start with the water, and from the water you go to economic activities that in turn provide finance yeah, yeah. for the water. W water is used as the entry point because most of the poor communities, one of the major problems which is impeding economic investment is lack of access to water. So you give them water and they use water as the, uh, the springboard for st starting SME, small and medium enterprises, and then from there from small and medium enterprises, which is the intermediary, they go to the also level where they can now start looking for microfinance, accessing microfinance. Once a uh, household has got access to water, they can put more of their resources or expand. Even the number of their livestock, they can start micro irrigation, they can start a bit of poultry farming, and all these investments will require the use of water. So if they have more cows, they, they have more use more water, produce more milk, and they'll be able to pay for water. And as they are paying for water, the water is, company is also getting more funds to expand their coverage. As they are expanding their coverage, they are giving opportunity for economical growth and poverty reduction. This is basically what we are doing in Kenya. That sounds as a great solution. Thank you so much. It definitely is a great solution. And I think we are attracting even a, a lot of government uh, interest into this where we want to partner with the government so that we'll be co-financing, leveraging more finances from the private sector to be put into the water sector.